Hello everyone, this is Juan from Ken Hub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where today we're going to be talking about the muscles of the foot. So what I'm going to be doing on this tutorial is walk you through the different muscles that you find on your foot. And I can tell you right now that you can divide the muscles of the foot into four groups specifically, which we will be covering. So we're going to be talking about the central muscles of the sole of the foot, the lateral muscles of the sole of the foot, the medial muscles, and the muscles of the dorsum of the foot. So we're going to also list all of the muscles that we find within these groups and then describe the different attachment points, which include then the origin points, the insertion points, innervation, and then a little bit on the functions associated to all of these muscles. And let's start off with the very first one on the list that I'm now isolating here on this image. So I just removed a few of the muscles of the foot to just isolate the central muscles of the sole of the foot. And the central muscles of the sole of the foot lie within the central compartment between the muscles of the big and little toes. This compartment comprises numerous short foot muscles in different layers, and together they form the central surface of the sole of the foot. Now, before we talk about these muscles in a little bit more detail, I would like to then list them. So the central muscles of the sole of the foot consist of the flexor digitorum brevis, the quadratus plantae, the lumbrical muscles one through fourth, there are three plantar interossi muscles that we're going to see, and also four dorsal interossi muscles. Let's start off by talking about the first one on our list that I'm now highlighting here in green. And if you remember from that previous slide, we're looking now at the flexor digitorum brevis. And the flexor digitorum brevis muscle lies relatively superficial under the plantar aponeurosis and is the largest muscle in the central compartment. In terms of its origin point, you can see here on this image that this muscle is originating at the calcaneal tuberosity right here, as you can see here. So this projection here is the calcaneal tuberosity or, or the tuberosity of the calcaneus. Also, the plantar aponeurosis will serve as an origin point for the flexor digitorum brevis. When it comes to the different insertion points, yes, insertion points, because you can see that distally, this muscle is dividing into four tendons, as you can see here, moving towards then the second. So this is the second toe all the way to then the fifth toe. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.